Welcome to Hattie Waiver Wire Guru. We're getting into week nine, and as you can see, I don't have my hat on. I have these glasses on, collared shirt. That's because we're getting down to business, because we're about to win again this week, okay? If you guys have been tuning in uh, weekly, I hope you've been dominating or seeing more wins. Obviously, with pickups last week, kind of like Donnie Avery, where you get him, he gets you 160 yards and a touchdown. How can you be mad at that? Huh? How can you be mad at that? That is awesome. Okay, so let's get into this week. Uh, we'll start with our ads, then we'll go into our watch list, and then we'll move on to our spot starters. Okay, moving into ads, I'll give you a warning right now. The quarterback section is going to be rough. Okay, uh, there's not a lot of QBs that I haven't used before, so I'm kind of fishing here, and uh, it's just going to be a little bit rough. Okay, so let's start with the first QB pickup, Sean Hill out of the 49ers. Um, you know, I'll have any um, starter with Mike Martz. I mean, he, he might be riding my bench, but I do believe in Mike Martz. So Sean Hill, go ahead and pick him up. He's an ad. Uh, moving on to running back, um, you know, with Larry Johnson probably getting suspended for four uh, weeks and Jamal Charles with a tweaked ankle, that brings in Kevin Smith, and that'd be one of the only starting running backs available. So go ahead and pick up Kevin Smith and put him right on your bench if you have a bye week this week or an injury like a Reggie Bush, and go ahead and let Kevin Smith fill in for you. Um, at wide receiver, I am convinced this guy after this week, I really thought Colston was going to come back and show us something, but you know, um, Lance Moore, he's going to be a pickup, put him on um, your bench and spot starter by week, you know, I like Lance Moore. Moving on to tight end, if Shockey's out, then you start Billy Miller, because Billy Miller um, is a good, consistent tight end when Shockey is out, so Billy Miller can uh, go on your bench, and if Shockey doesn't play, then start him. Moving on to the watches, these are guys we're just keeping an eye on, again, going to the rough QB section, um, Seneca Wallace, I'll keep an eye on you, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, moving on to running back. Um, I like Leon Washington. I've seen some consistency out of him. Keep an eye on him. And if Thomas Jones were ever to go down, remember, he's up there in age. Leon Washington's a starter and can be very productive. Moving on to wide receiver, the Detroit situation between Mike Fury and Sean McDonald, I want to keep an eye on. But Sean McDonald um, was a wide receiver, too, this week and you know, got a lot of looks and a lot of grabs. So I'm keeping an eye on that situation. Next, I'm a really big Arizona Cardinals fan. I think Warner loves to throw it a lot, and he is accurate, and uh, Jeremy Urban at tight end position, um, not bad, not bad, okay, so I'm keeping an eye on that. Moving on to your spot starters, so if you have somebody on bye week, you got an injury, um, then, you know, these are going to be guys I would spot start. Going to the rough QB section, um, Tyler Thigpen, he came out of nowhere last week, and again, he's a gamble, but if you got nobody else, you're going to have to gamble with Tyler. Okay, moving on to running back. Keep an eye on the Portis situation because if Portis has a tweaked ankle and he's not going next week, then you start Sean Alexander, especially if you have someone who's, if you had uh, Portis. Okay, then you're starting Sean Alexander. But go ahead and stash him on your bench now before anybody else can, and we'll see what happens. Moving on to wide receiver, this is my pickup of the week, Nate Washington. Uh, once Antonio Holmes uh, got those drug charges, uh, the speedster of Nate Washington is now your wide receiver too. Uh, there in Pittsburgh, you already saw his capability even this week. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab Nate Washington. And finally at the tight end position, if Kellen Winslow misses, then Steve Hyden looks pretty good. Okay, so we're going to have Steve Hyden riding the bench if Winslow doesn't come back. Okay, but that's it. Uh, I great Good luck coming into week nine. If you have any questions, you certainly can email me, Hattie Waiver Wire Guru at HattieWaverWireGuru.com. And please check out our website. Uh, we had some really great news this last week. We were featured on Sports Illustrated, so the website is doing well. You should visit it. It's HattieWaverWireGuru.com. Thank you, everybody. Good luck. Get serious win. We need to get into the playoffs.